hi everyone welcome back in today's video so in this tutorial we shall be discussing how to prepare or how to use IV or IM arthrocinate for injection so in today's video we shall be looking at how to administer or how to prepare IV arthrocinate for injection to treat for severe malaria patients so when you look at the packaging so what you are supposed to do first you check the expiry date of the drug the expiry date for example the expiry date is october 2027 then after you have checked the expiry date you open the packaging of the drug so you open first the packaging of the drug so when you open this is what you will be observed for example the first one we have is the vial so this is the vial of IV or IM arthrocinate which is 120 milligram so this is the vial containing white border of IV or IM arthrocinate that is 120 milligram okay we also have 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate so this is 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate we also have 10 ml of sodium chloride so this is 10 ml of sodium chloride so how will you prepare how will you dilute the drug for you to administer effectively and safely safely to the patient so this is the service you are supposed to follow first you get the vial of the drug then what you do you get the 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate then you add it into the vial then what you do you start shaking the vial gently like this so you start it shaking it gently like this slowly until the solution dissolves until the solution becomes clearly so please what you do don't aspirate don't add the sodium chloride before the solution becomes and clear because it will not be effective for you to treat the disease which is severe malaria so what you do first you add the 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate into the vial then what you do you start shaking it gently like this until the solution becomes clear so you allow it for some time to dissolve the solution so that it becomes clearly white containing no visible particles then what to do after that you are spread or you add sodium chloride into the vial then what you do you also allow it for some time to dissolve so that the solution becomes clear then that's the time you can inject safely or you can administer it to the patient which will be effective against the infection of malaria parasite so when you're preparing the drug to give for iv root that is intravenous injection what you do you add 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate into the vial then what you do you allow it to settle for some time to dissolve you shake it gently like this when you're giving for iv injection for iv intravenous in root then you add all the 10 ml of sodium chloride sodium chloride into the vial then what you do you start shaking it gently like this until the solution dissolves you allow it for some time to dissolve so that the solution becomes clearly so then what you do that is when you're going to prepare for IV injection so when you're going to give IV injection remember to add the 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate and all the 10 ml of sodium chloride so that is how you're going to, to prepare when you're going to give the drug in IV route so what about when you're going to give the drug for IM root, that is intramuscular injection, what you do, you add 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate into the vial, then what you do, you only add 4 ml. So remember to add only 4 ml of sodium chloride into the vial when you're going to give the drug for IM root. So now let us proceed, let us do the procedure. So what do you do, you first get the syringe, so you get the syringe first, you open it gently like this then what you do you get a 21 gauge needle so you get a 21 gauge needle you remove it from the packaging you attach it into the syringe then what you do you open the vial so you open the vial of the drug so this is how you are going to open then what you do you add first the 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate so this is how you are going to break then what you do you withdraw the drug so this is how we are going to withdraw the drug so 
you withdraw the 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate then you add it into the vial so this is how we are going to add so you add in it into the vial so what you do you shake it gently like this so you shake it gently like this until the solution becomes clearly because if you don't allow it for some time to dissolve it will form white particles which is like form of milk so what you do you allow the solution for some time to dissolve as you continue shaking gently like this so you allow it for some time to dissolve until the solution becomes gently so you allow it for some time you allow it for some time until the solution becomes clearly you shake it gently like this so you give it for some time to dissolve so when the solution becomes clearly that is when you can add the sodium chloride into the vial then again you allow the you allow it for some time to dissolve the solution so that it will become clearly white containing no feasible particles which is white form in milk then that is the time whereby you can administer the drug to the patient so when the solution becomes clearly is when you can add the sodium chloride into the vial then you can administer the drug to the patient according to their doses so thank you for watching in the next video we shall be discussing how to calculate the dose of IV artusinate to administer for adults or children so thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video so thanks for watching have a nice day